Why does it always come down to this? Brute force. Hello, welcome back to Walk the Tide. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan, and today we have this light bulb. Color up. Color up. My wife saw this on some website, I think it was Mashable or something, and she's like, you have to see it, this thing and see if it really works. So I think it's by Tilt, maybe? That looks like Tilt. Yeah. It says designed by Pega. DNA, DNA, D I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this light is supposed to be a tricky light where you set it on anything, like you said, and it will change to that color. Oh, here we go. We're already opening it up. Let's see if this thing really works, and then if it does work, what's inside of it? Inside of the box, there are no instructions. All that comes with it is this micro USB label, or adapter, cord, cable, whatever you want to call it. And then here's the light. It's giant. This is not a light that you would put in your lamp. You sure? Look at that thing. Feel it. Feel this. It's rubber. It's rubber. A squishy light. Oh, it's like a balloon. You couldn't dribble it, because it just go brr. Yeah, see. On the bottom, it looks like we can take this off. And it looks like there's a sensor on there. So supposedly you're supposed to be able to set this on something and it changes the color. There's one switch on it. And then there's the micro USB adapter port right there. It's a sensor. Underneath it, there is a light. And then there is also a little chip that must be the sensor. And then just a nice rubber seal around it so it will just sit there comfortably. There are no instructions, but I did go online and watch somebody watching a YouTube video and it says that you have to squeeze it two times. I know, it's squishy, you like it. But this is our Lego, what's in, this is our Lego, what's inside sign. Let's try it. Put it on there, ooh! That looks good. The couch! The blue couch! Blue couch! It's already blue. Whoa. Whoa! That's like pinkish! Oh, why is our car leaving? Is somebody still in our car? No, our car's over there. Oh, good. Okay. Mm. Okay, back to the video. Right. This is a Kevin Durant article that uh, it mentions us in it. Boom! Ooh, blue, pink, pink? Boom! We can get two colors from this. Ooh, that one's the coolest. Yeah. Look how pink that is. Whoa. Why is the camera looking weird with it? This is called rolling shutter. Goodbye. Oh, yes. Here we go. Green. Green. Easy. <laughs> In green. It's so it's bright so green. green. Boom. Another blue. Bloom. Oh, don't fall. That we is cool. We have lots of things that are blue in this office. So we have determined this light is very, very cool. Very cool. How is it that you squeeze it and this, it triggers a sensor? Is it the air pressure that's inside of it and you squeeze it? So let's cut off all this plastic, see what's inside of it, and see if we can still trigger it without this outer bubble. We're gonna cut the rubber out of it first and then we will get into it and see this sensor in here. I'm hoping that we can cut all this rubber off and the thing still works. So that is super interesting. Let's finish the job here. Okay. There is nothing inside the actual rubber. I'm trying to figure out how to trigger this thing. What triggers that? Inside of the light bulb, there's really nothing in there. No wires, no cables. You can see when I squeeze on it. I'm so confused right now as to how this thing works. Okay, the only thing I've seen so far is that I'm going blind. I literally can't see the, the camera right now. It's just, hey, don't hit me. This is a mystery. How does this thing work? Oh. oh, oh. Okay, so there's the top part. That just came off. Is there a sensor inside of it somewhere? Where could you set, where would the sensor? I don't think be? it would be any of those. I think what we need to do is take off these four screws, pull up this board, and see if we can find a sensor inside of it. So what I'd love to do is to have this thing still work. All right, I've got the tool kit here with all kinds of stuff falling out of it. Screwdriver. It's four, it's like one of those four things. 
Philip said. Okay, so there's the main board. Can we turn it back on? Still, it doesn't work anymore. So right here, this connected with this right here, and, and that's, that's part of the switch. So the switch is no longer working. I don't see anything that triggers the air that tells you how the thing works. So this board is just connected to the battery. The battery does not appear to have any type of sensors on it. Somehow the sensor may be on this PCB board right here. We don't really know what sensors look like though. I'm thinking, I mean, even with the battery out of it, we could probably just connect it still and it'll still work. See that? So it still works. Maybe the answer is in the bottom. Whoa! I can't really see much of how that would come out. Why does it always come down to this? Brute force! Unfortunately, I could not jerry-rig this thing and get into it in a nice, easy way. The only thing that remains is the battery in this first board, but this... Oh, um, you went right through it. It's still, this is one durable thing. Like, I can't even get it off. Try getting that off. It's like the sword and the stone. Oh, it's so hard. It's it just hard. stuck. I feel like I need another tool to help me get it off. <laughs> like this. We just have these laying around. Okay. Oh, that came off so easily. Okay, after the brute force, we have broken this thing. We're able to open it a bit. There's the outer casing. What could be inside that tells us how the thing turns on and off? I found a goat face. There's a screw on the bottom. How did I? Ah, oh, it was underneath this. If I would have pulled this stuff, we could have unscrewed the bottom. These were the lights that you saw earlier. There's one of them was a light that was on the bottom that you would put it against something and it, and it would light it up. And then the other one was the sensor that would actually see the color and then tell everything and tell the LED light on the top to change to that color. We were not able to find how, it that actually works. when you squeeze it, how does that no tell it to do something? I don't understand. Let us know in the comments, do you know how one of these chipboards, like what is the sensor on here? So this is um, modern day technology that's amazing. Yes. So the mystery continues. But until then, bye.